the hell is wrong with you? What? It's a quote from E.T. Wow, that really hurts your throat. I don't know how E.T. does it. Oh, that's a cup of a carpenter. Last crusade! There we go. <laughs> oh. What's that from? The color purple. Nearly 3,000 years, man has searched for the lost Ark of the Covenant. Our first story begins with our hero finding the existence of a lost artifact. He loses someone close to him and finds out that the Nazis are involved. So he takes a plane to an undisclosed location to find this lost artifact and ultimately revenge. Wait. Wait, what are you talking about? What? It's the, the thing you told me about. I played it all day. Sully's in it. Drake's in it. Drake loses Sully, but then hooks up with his friend Elena in order to find the lost artifact in the road to El Dorado. Uh, I'm being serious, Nate. He's got nothing to do with <laughs> Sully! Besides, you owe me one. Yeah, that, that's a video game called Uncharted. You are such a shit. Well, okay, all right, listen. What we're really talking about, really, is Indiana Jones. And it's pretty cool because there's a boulder chase, uh, Indy has a car blow up, and he gets into a fight with a huge Nazi near an airplane. It was really cool. And you know, you never think this, but I raised my hand so hard that they actually picked me out of the crowd. It was so cool. They brought me backstage and I got to meet the entire cast. And then, after that, I got to help with some of the stunts. After that, you wouldn't believe it, but then they put me on the Stars Tours and then we had lunch at Pizza Planet. What are you talking about now? It's... so what? Don't you know? It's like so much better than Tower of Terror. He's talking about the stunt show at Walt Disney World. Wait, what are we, what are we reviewing? Raiders of the Lost Ark is truly a wonderful film. It's the best action film of all time. And the most stunning thing about it, honestly, is the pace. There's really not one wasted moment, unlike this review so far. 10 out of 10, it's perfection. 11 out of 10, because they picked me out of the crowd. E.T. The Extraterrestrial. We will witness the arrival. The search. The desertion. The discovery. I'm keeping him. The secret. The danger. The connection has been made. Again, I had a great time with this one. I mean, you wouldn't believe it, but the lines were actually pretty short, and uh, that makes... Uh, if you're talking about the ride at Universal Studios, I might have to kill you. An alien gets lost, and an unlikely cast of heroes help it get back home. Oh, and by the way, Drew Barrymore, at the age of three, starts her incredibly lackluster, slack-jawed career. That's correct. This movie represents all the wonderful things about 80s Spielberg. Growing up, responsibility, love, compassion... And underage drinking. No. This movie has everything. Action, adventure, and emotional drama. Let me ask you something. Did you cry? Yeah, but a lot of the kids made funny at recess for it. Oh. You were talking about when you were, like, five. <laughs> what did you think I was talking about? Wait a minute. When did you cry? Like last week when you were watching this thing? It's an emotional movie. Yeah, <laughs> too emotional for the likes of Dennis Weaver over here. You wanna play a game? God damn it. Ten out of ten. 10 out of 10. We're gonna take one off just because of the tears shed by Lifetime Network over here. Wait, 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 wait. Temple of Doom came out in 84, right? Yeah, 
And E.T. came out in 82. So, what's your problem? We missed two! Poltergeist and the Twilight Zone movie. They came out in 83, so what's your fucking problem? One, the Twilight Zone movie, Spielberg only directed a segment. It's 20 minutes long, it's the Kick the Can episode, and it's awful. Yeah, but he still directed it. And what are we reviewing here? We can do a made-for-TV movie and we can't do an actual one? A lot of sense that makes. Yeah, you're fine. You know what? You want it reviewed? Here, four out of ten. It's awful. Four out of ten. What did you think? I didn't watch it. But we're still missing one. He didn't direct Poltergeist. Toby Hooper directed Poltergeist. Yeah, but everyone knows it was really Spielberg that directed it. Yeah, maybe, but it says Toby Hooper on the poster and in the movie, and that's... That's not fair to Toby Hooper. Oh, who gives a shit? What's he gonna do anyway? Alright. Go ahead. Review it. I didn't watch that movie either. Okay, in this one, our heroes are in deeper shit. Accompanied by his sidekick, Elena, and a new thief, Chloe, our heroes traverse the mountains in Tibet to find the fabled city of Shambhala. That's Uncharted 2. We're doing movie reviews. But it plays like a movie! 10 out of 10 for Uncharted Yeah, 10. but it's not a movie! It's a video game. We're not reviewing video games. We're not reviewing Uncharted. What, what, Last Crusade? Last Crusade is gonna be, what, Uncharted 3? Oh, no. That comes out in November. It's like working with a monkey. Speaking of monkeys, Indiana Jones is accompanied by one of the most annoying child actors to grace the screen, as his travels in this film take him to India, where he tries to find the Shankara Stones. While on his travels, he encounters such obstacles as Kano's fatality from Mortal Kombat, lava pits, and the constant, constant, Screaming of Kate Capshaw. Get him off of me! 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 However, it's a great adventure film from beginning to end. It's not as good as Raiders of the Lost Ark, but nothing's as good as Raiders of the Lost Ark. 9 out of 10. 10 out of 10. You know, I just can't wait for the third one. It, uh... It came out in 1989. November, right? Summer. You will never forget the color purple. It's about life. It's about love. It's about us. And Seely. You know, I think I know why they call this movie the color purple. Yeah, because it's the color of love. No, it's, it's because purple is the color of a really good bruise, and there's a lot of them in this movie. <laughs> Alright, look, honestly, seriously, we're not saying that domestic abuse in any way, shape, or form is funny. Oh, no. No. What we are saying is that it's funny when it happens like this. Wake up, Dr. Joe! Wake up! <laughs> that gets me every time. <laughs> oh, now, oh, seriously, man. this movie was hard to get through. Yeah, it's uh, it's two hours and twenty minutes of straight up depression, followed by ten minutes of genuine euphoria. Daddy! See? Uh, yeah, you know, even I got a little choked up here. Really? Well, that sounds like a Dennis Weaver move. No, actually, that, that doesn't play here. Uh, this is a serious movie. How could you? 
I, I, I never, I, oh, damn it. Nine out of 10. Eight out of 10. I just didn't like the ending. You're serious.